the following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. presents The Wonderful World of Color This week, from the wonderful world of make-believe, an adventure in color. The Wonderful World of Color is brought to you by RCA the most trusted name in color TV, in black and white TV, in radios, in stereo, and in records. RCA, the most trusted name in electronics. And now your host, Walt Disney. The world we live in would look pretty dull if Mother Nature used a black and white palette and painted only in shades of gray like this. But before we brighten things up with color in this show, it might be appropriate to recall those times when the movies, too, had their gray days, way back in the old silent era. In fact, when the animated cartoon was created, nobody gave color a second thought. Giving life to a static comic strip character was magic enough. And as for sound, well, if a cartoon character had something to say, he said it like this. If you wanted music, well, you could only pray that the theater organist would play the right tune at the right time. That was the situation when I first stepped into the entertainment world some 40 years ago. Then came a very important breakthrough. Steamboat Willie was the first sound film in the animated cartoon field. And it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy than Mickey. Now the whole world of music could serve as a creative inspiration for our stories. And so in 1929, the Silly Symphony was born. Well, it was all very crude and primitive, but we had sound and music. However, one vital dimension was still missing, color. It was an impractical dream, something at the end of the rainbow. But in our business, dreams have a way of coming true. Color does brighten things up, doesn't it? When Technicolor made the breakthrough with the first three-color process, I wanted to cheer. Flowers and Trees was the first full-color film to hit the motion picture screen. It made quite a splash. Of course, by today's standards, this early effort seemed limited. But here is how we handled a similar subject a few years later in Fantasia. of color begins. For 30 years now, we've been living in this exciting world of color. These are earth colors, a gift from Mother Nature who took millions of years to make them. Others are created by the magic miracle of modern chemistry. With such basic pigments as these, we can make all the colors of the rainbow. Girl, just a moment. Haven't you gotten a word? We're in full color. Oh well, a bit of color magic will fix it. Bibbity, bobbity, blue. <laughs> I must have said the wrong words. 
But see, uh, ah, I know. NBC Color TV. Well, that's more like it. Yes, color gives us an exciting dimension to add to our programs. For the past seven years, we've presented our shows in black and white. Those of you without color television will continue to see our programs as you always have. And we will continue to entertain you with stories which will cover a wide field of new and exciting subjects. From fact and fantasy to tales of adventure, from music and dancing to people and places. But to come back to the subject of color, it is such a fascinating topic that we've invited the world's foremost authority to throw some light on the subject. He's a renowned scientist, lecturer, psychologist, world traveler, my old friend and longtime associate, Professor... Uh, here you are, Professor Ludwig von Drake. So here now to tell you all about the wonderful world of color, Professor Von Drake himself. Good evening. Now, the first thing I would like to say is, look out! That crazy bar, you're going with that thing! <laughs> oh, look. How do you like that? I thought it was a motorcycle coming at me, and it was the spotlight was hitting me because I'm the professor going to give a lecture. <laughs> well, anyway, let me introduce myself. How do you do? I am Professor Ludwig Von Drake, and today we are going to discuss the wonderful world of color. In fact, I got it all written down here in black and white. Black and white. <laughs> but I needed some notes in color. That's what I really need. This whole program is being seen in color. Huh, and that's a lie. You know that's a lie. Because only the people with color TV sets are seeing it in color. <laughs> well, all right. Now for the occasion, I wore this vest, especially. For you people with colorblind TV sets, I'm going to describe this beautiful vest to you with all the colors. Now, there's red, there's blue, there's orange, there's jade, green, there's lemon yellow, and there's, uh, there's, uh, pot roast. Pot roast? Pot roast isn't a color. Oh, brown, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, when you see this in gorgeous full color, you know something? You're gonna get sick. <laughs> I can't even stand it. All right, now to the subject. What is the subject? I forgot I got carried away with all this. Oh, yes. Color. That is the subject we're going to discuss. Now, first of all, there are three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And with these, you can make any color you want. Red and yellow make orange. Blue and yellow, and you got a green thumb. <laughs> you should see my chrysanthemum. You should see my chrysanthemum. You should see my petunias. Now, you mix them all together, and they spell muddy. And uh, then you got black. And that's exactly the way things were in the very beginning of time. Black. Man was completely in the dark about color. Why? Because he was stupid. That's why. He didn't have a color expert like me to teach him. This kid had to learn everything the hard way. And when he was cold, he turned blue. When he discovered fire, he discovered a nice, warm, red. <laughs> and then when he found out you mix yellow with blue, it gave him a very nice green. So green became man's favorite color. Even today, you give a man plenty of green stuff and he's got no problems. <laughs> but you give man a green steak and, well, that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> Fact, it's a duck of a different color. You want to look at it that way. So, you see, color can even affect your appetite. Now, it's altogether different if you're a dog. Are you a dog? All right, if you're a dog, will you please leave because we're going to discuss you. All dogs watching this program will now leave. Did you leave? They left. I got to tell you the truth. I, I said that because I don't want to hurt the dog's feelings. You see, dogs don't know this. We know this. We scientists. Dogs is colorblind. You see, they only see in black and white. In fact, you know, they don't even care if a steak is green, blue, purple, or plaid. <laughs> well, anyway, this all proves one important thing. <laughs> don't buy your dog a color TV set. Now, my dog sits at home watching the old black and white set, and he's perfectly happy. And I want you all to be happy just like my dog. 
And so, especially for you people who are watching me in black and white, I'm going to sing a colorful little song. And when you hear this, you're gonna know that they don't call me Elvis Van Dyke for nothing. <laughs> All right, hit a note. They... Oh, <laughs> I was reading a fly spec. Get off her there, you cookie fly, you. All right. <clears throat> That's the whole introduction? And you're supposed to do it in the right key, too, isn't that right? I'm blue as I can be, green with jealousy. Look what you do unto me. I've got those green with envy blues. I mean those red with anger blues. And that's the purple with passion blues over you. Uh, 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 uh. Orange, you gonna squeeze me with the seeds, need the mellow yellow moon. So I can lose those green with envy, red with anger, purple passionate blues. Gotta get something for that. <laughs> Purple with passion blue over you. Oh, eh, 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 orange. You've got to squeeze me. Need a mellow yellow moon. So I can lose those green bit and be red bit anger. Purple passionate blue. And that's the green bit and be blue. Did you hear that note? <laughs> it came out blue. <laughs> all right, all you cool cats. Now back to the lecture. Now you know something? Without light, there is no color. All right, turn out the lights. The hey, up there, wake up. There, you see? Nothing. Without light, it's nothing. And without light, how do we know what this is? A tennis ball or a rutabaga? So, now let's have some light on the subject. Aha! An orange, maybe. Maybe. A large plum? No. A head of lettuce? No. Now, we put all the colors together. Red, blue, and green, which gives white. I'm surprised. Isn't you? Of course you are. <laughs> now we can see what we got. A juicy red apple. That just proves one thing. Never eat an apple in the dark. Oh, it's raining. Call off the lecture. Wait, uh, all right, give them a rain check. We come back, goodbye, and then... Oh, what am I saying? Look at... <laughs> that was no rain, that was the spectrum. You see the flashing off of my spectacles. And uh, that breaks up the light into a color spectacular. It's like a rainbow. Now, let's see what's at the end of the rainbow. Gold, a pot, no... A piano, of course. Now, the human brain, and that's located in the head, you know, somewhere, sees only one octave of color. But even with our little color octave here, we can mix 10 million different shades. And I ought to know because I counted every one of them just before the program. Now, for a little color harmony. For the first time on TV, Van Drake will play for you in color. I call it a spectrum song, because it's about that. So now we're going to do the song for you. Four, eight, two. Red, yellow, green, red, blue, 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 red, purple, green, yellow, orange, red, 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 yellow, green, red, blue, 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 red, purple, green, yellow, orange, red, red. Blend them up and what do you get? Cerise, chartreuse and aqua, mauve, beige and ultramarine and every color in between. Yes, canova, something, bow, wow, color has its harmony and just like I have said, Red, yellow, green, red, blue, 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 red, purple, green, yellow, blue, purple, purple. Wait a second, what am I saying? It's supposed to finish with the red. Red. Now, all right, we know that everybody don't have television sets with color, so we're going to do a version for them. We don't want you to feel left out of this. Here's for you. Black, black. 
black, grey, white, grey, 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 white, grey, white, grey, grey, white, black, 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 grey, white, grey, 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 white, white, grey, 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 black, black. All right, now you happy? You don't feel left out? Now I want to get back to my song. Blend them up and what do you get, sir? Chateaus and aqua, mau beige and ultramarine and every color in between. Whoops, hi, hi, ho, say, say, say. Color has its harmony. And just like I have said, red, yellow, green, red, blue, 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 red, purple, green, blue, purple, red, and white and green and red. And red and blue and, and, and it. Whew. Ooh. What a show-off! How do you like that guy? I'm gonna let you in on something. Confidentially, he dies his feathers. All right. Now, we come to the time for the question and answer period. And if there's anything at all that you wanna ask me, you call me up and we discuss it, because this is the disgusting part of the program. <laughs> All right, everybody, the number to call is Rainbow 2800. Hello? Yes? Hold it. All right. Yes? What do you want? All right, you, the wrong number. All right, fire the farm, you got a fire on your house. Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> well, I would say run, run, whatever you do. No, Fido, I'm sorry, you're a little late. We all are at the stakes. One moment, please. Hold the line, be right with you, madam. Hello? Yes? And two dozen what? Uh, no, I, lady, got the wrong number. All right, stand by. You what? You want to know how color TV works? Well, it works very good. What do you want? What are you bugging me with calling me over a couple of seconds? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You want a technical explanation? Huh, I don't like the wise guy calling up, trying to stump the Professor Van Drake, you see, well? <laughs> now, it's all done with mirrors. Now, everybody knows you have a camera. Now, the picture comes in here and is broken down into three primaries and it's picked up by the election tubes after the primary. It goes on and there's a little governor in there that gives it a little push on the side and it takes two and it changes into uh, volts. And then they fly like little homing peacocks through the air and the wires in your set pick the color out of the air and throw them into the inside. Oh, 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 be sure never to touch the green wire with the blue or vice virtue. That can be dangerous. Oh, you don't know. Ah! I know. Oh, I know. Believe me, I found out. And that's how I became an expert. Now, as you see, the red tube picks up red. The blue picks up blue. Blue de picks up the blue. Blue de picks up the blue. And green, of course, picks up pickles. Look at that little honey there. <laughs> I was wondering where I put that thing. Oh, look at that pickle. This is a real dilly. What happened to the Swiss cheese I had in here? A Swiss cheese set. Now, let's see. Did I forget anything? What's this? This doesn't even belong here. Besides, what do you want to bother your head about all this technical stuff? It's very simple. All you do, you turn this little knob, and you got your picture. See? That's all. All right, come on. You turn the little knob, and you got the picture. All right, I turned the knob. Didn't I turn the knob? What are you doing with that? It's... Yes, it is a time to warm up. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, this is murder. Color. Ah, there's the picture. Color.
Yeah. 